Hi, my name is Anne Carl and I'm a design team member for Lulu Art 2017. Today I'm going to share with you how I created my journal page titled Brave. I want to insert my page into an existing journal so I rule it up to size. I've chosen a Prima watercolour paper. It's got quite a nice texture to it. I start with a quick little pencil sketch of a face. I'm keeping it very simple and I'm going to have her eyes closed. Taking into consideration how much space I've got on my page, I've decided to give my little girl some cute little piggy tails. I divide them up because I'm wanting to use a few different colours within her hair. I erase my placement marks because I'm going to use thin coats of paint so I don't want any of that pencil showing. I'm wanting to add some interest to her hair so I take my white stamp pad and a very fine floral stamp and I stamp this randomly throughout her hair. You're not going to see it just yet but as soon as I lay that first coat of paint in her hair it will appear. Next I take my Salmon Neo Colour 2 and I start to build the face. So I'm only laying this on very lightly. I'm not pushing hard at all because I don't want any of those harsh lines left. I use a water brush to activate my crayon and as I do I start at the darkest areas and I'm pulling it inwards to the center of her face. Therefore I should get a graduation of color from darker to lighter. I'm not going to introduce a highlight color so I'm going to leave the paper act as the highlight. So there's going to be areas of my design that won't have any paint or crayon at all. I'm still using the salmon colour crayon but this time I'm actually taking my paintbrush and just rubbing it on the tip of that crayon and then adding the colour to the face. I've also changed to a fine tip water brush just to give me a little bit more control and I'm also able to add the finer detail with this brush. Now I'm continuing to build shape within her face so I'm pushing back those darkest areas. So to do this I've chosen a new colour called Saffron and you'll find I'll also work with my um, salmon colour just to fill in some parts of her face that I feel could have done with a little bit more colour and I'll just work between the two. I do really enjoy building the faces and just watching their little facial features pop out from the paper. To me it's a relaxing process and you'll find that I don't work continuously in the one spot. Um, I'll just go backwards and forwards until I'm happy with the look. Here I've dropped my crayon so I'm just trying to gently dab that colour up off of the paper. Next I've picked four colours that I feel complement each other. Now I know these are spray bottles but to be truthful I very rarely use them as a spray. I do prefer to paint with them. I'm going to fill in every second section of hair with yellow and then I'm going to shade it with tangerine just on the very ends. The colours started to bleed beyond their section so all I did is I painted it in quite quickly and then I set each section as I went with the heat gun. 
For the remaining sections, I choose orange and I shade that with post box red. I make sure all my ink is dry before I start outlining it with my fine point black pen. I'm wanting my lines to be irregular so I'll go back and I'll thicken just portions of my line to just add a little bit more interest. I use Indian Red to fill in her lips, keeping the top lip darker than the bottom. And I'll also take some of this colour across to start building her cheeks. I want the intensity of colour to be closest to the side of her face so that's where I lay the colour and then I drag it across to the centre of her face with the water brush. I'll also add touches of this colour to her neck and also touch it in other places of her face just being careful not to overdo that colour. I finish off her eyes by adding some nice fine eyelashes. I darken her nostrils and just add a little bit more of variation to the line around her lips and her face. As this now ties my design together. I add a few flyaway hairs just to soften her face. She's got a lot of things happening with her hair so I decide to paint the background black just to keep it simple and this also makes her pop out. My chosen word for today is brave so I stencil that in with a mix of my black and the white which makes a nice grey colour and because I haven't got grey anywhere else I decide to add a little bit to the background just to tie my painting together. going to add a little bit more contrast in the hair so here I'm using my Neo Color Crimson just with my water brush again doing a bit of line work within the hair and I'll continue this same color and I'll use it to deepen the bottom of her lip and add a little bit more darkness to her cheeks and to finish her off I'm just going to add in her eyebrows and a few more shadow strands within her hair Thank you for watching along with me. For all these art supplies and more, please visit luluart.com.au. Thank you.